Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a letter to His Holiness Pope Francis of the Vatican that included an invitation to visit Bahrain, which was delivered by His Majesty the King's advisor for diplomatic affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Pope Francis received Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed, who conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty the King and his wishes of abundant health and happiness to the Pope. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed expressed the appreciation of His Majesty the King for the vital role of Pope Francis in establishing and enhancing dialogue between religions and understanding between various cultures and civilizations, as well as spreading the values of humanitarian brotherhood and coexistence among all. He affirmed His Majesty's support to the humanitarian brotherhood Brotherhood, declaration and its principles, noble endeavors and efforts to ensure a more prosperous future for humanity. For his part, Pope Francis asked Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his thanks for the invitation to visit the kingdom for which he holds the highest regard. He asserted that the invitation embodies Bahrain's model of openness and coexistence between all components of the society, expressing appreciation for the wisdom of His Majesty the King and his keenness on enhancing the culture of dialogue and tolerance and His Majesty's initiatives to spread the principles of coexistence and solidarity between countries and people. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in the United Arab Emirates to attend Bahrain's Pavilion's National Day event held at Expo 2020 Dubai. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister was accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the conclusion of the third edition of the shooting championship of the late His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness praised the level of performance at the event which contributes to the talent, to the talent development in Bahrain and reflects well on the sport by progressing further abroad and achieving more. He said that this has enhanced Bahrain's profile regionally and internationally and appreciated the efforts of the president of the Shooting Federation for developing the sport. His Highness wished the participants further success.
The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office in Al Wadi Palace the chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Mohammed Al Hajri. Al Hajri, His Highness Sheikh Khalid, conveyed to the guests the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes of success for the council's affiliates. His Highness discussed with Sheikh Dr. Rashid the plans of a general sports authority to to support sports bodies through implementing development projects that support the sports system and upgrading the sector to the stage of professionalism and the sports industry. For his part, Sheikh Dr. Al Hadri expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his efforts that contributed to the development of the sports field. He affirmed that the Sunni Endowments Directorate is working hand in hand with all governmental bodies and authorities to make further progress and prosperity during the era of His Majesty the King. A Bahraini parliamentarian delegation headed by the Speaker of the Representatives Council of Ozia Zainal is participating in the General Assembly of the Interparliamentarian Federation. The Speaker affirmed the keenness of the legislative authority to participate in international forums as they represent an opportunity to meet with parliamentarians from other countries. She praised the role of the parliamentary diplomacy in depicting the Kingdom's democratic and developmental process led by His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King's advisor for diplomatic affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met at Vatican City with the Cardinal Secretary of the State of the Vatican, the Holy See, Saint Pietro Porlin. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed hailed the course of friendship relations between Bahrain and the Vatican and the development they witnessed, expressing Bahrain's continuous aspirations to bolster cooperation and joint coordination to serve the two countries. For his part, the Holy See has expressed his pride in meeting Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed and in his visit to the Vatican, affirming his appreciation for Bahrain as a model for coexistence that is based on mutual respect, tolerance and openness towards world countries. The advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met with the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Al Ghait. They discussed the latest regional developments and issues of common interest. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed affirmed the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on promoting joint Arab work and coordinating stances regarding various issues and challenges in order to achieve aspirations for more stability, growth, and prosperity. His Majesty the King's advisor expressed the appreciation of His Majesty the King and Bahrain for the tireless efforts of the Arab League Secretary General in enhancing the Arab League's role at all levels. He stressed Bahrain's support to the noble goals of the Arab League and keenness on promoting the role of the organization at all levels. The Arab League Secretary General commended the efforts of His Majesty the King to boost pan-Arab work and support the efforts of the Arab League in tackling various issues and promoting regional security and stability. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, participated in the 12th Conference of Arab Education Ministers organized by the Arab League Educational Culture and Scientific Organization held remotely and shared by Palestine under the theme a Remedial Education Second Chance. The Minister delivered a speech in which he conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to all the participants in the conference. He held the selection of Remedial Education as a theme for the conference. And Naimi affirmed that Bahrain has been able to handle the pandemic competently as a result of the directives of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's leadership of the Medical Task Force. He added that the ministry continues to provide education in the required form, whether through partial attendance or remotely. The BDF graduation ceremony for the second cohort of the civilian volunteers was attended by the commander of the Royal Reserve Unit Major General Munir al Bey, the Assistant Chief of Staff of Manpower Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa and the Assistant Chief of Staff of Operations Major General Ghanem Ibrahim Al Fadala. The volunteers expressed their pride in the training they have received which has qualified them militarily and prayed that the leadership will always be on full alert to defend the kingdom. The graduates then performed the swearing ceremony after which they received awards of appreciation and course certificates. The event was attended by a large number of BDF officers. 
The Supreme Council for Women, the STW, opened the national forum to present the results and discuss the recommendations of Bahrain's second gender balance report with the participation of the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Secretary General of the Council, Halal Ansari. The minister affirmed that the advanced levels that Bahraini women reach is the result of the royal directives and the support of her royal, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the distinguished leadership of women's work by Her Royal Highness, the President of the STW. For her part, Al Ansari expressed the appreciation for the efforts of the government, which enabled gender balance on a national level. The Supreme Council for Women concluded the national forum to present the results and discuss the recommendations, which discuss the role of private sector in applying the recommendations of the report on gender balance. The challenges of women in the private sector were also discussed, such as the life-work balance, as well as the ways in which the gender balance report would be addressed in the coming period and women's participation in civil society. The University of Bahrain won third place in the Solar Decathlon Middle East competition and second place in energy management following China after competing with eight international universities. The University of Bahrain Go Smart team qualified in 2019 to the Solar Decathlon competition which is held under the patronage of the Crown Prince of Dubai and the managing director and CEO of Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. The team also won other awards within the competition in the field of sustainable transportation, communication, innovative solutions and energy management and others. The university president, Dr. Jawahara al Mudahki, has expressed her pride in noting that the achievement is an incentive for further successes in all fields.